Okay, you can see the two by six I put up there with the two uh, lag bolts into the tree. And then here is the uh, eye bolts that I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put a turnbuckle here so I can tighten the, tighten the cable ever how much I need. Cause I could always tighten this here too. And we're gonna run it over to the other side. And uh, then we're gonna have two more cables that are up higher uh, so that we can kind of steady the steady the bridge maybe sort of like a handrail or maybe higher than a handrail and uh, it's gonna be a fun project can't wait okay so I've got both of my cables installed and uh, I'm trying to get the tension the same in them so I put a level out there uh, just to just to see if they were level they're fairly level and I can just turn the uh, whichever turnbuckle I need uh, to get it level well it's getting pretty exciting I can't wait for the next uh, step which uh, uh, will be put a few boards uh, from one cable to the other and then I think I'm going to make it where I have a couple long boards going down the middle. That'll tie all the cross boards together so they won't be slipping towards each other because it's hard to find a way to attach the uh, cross bars to the cables and so they won't be sliding. Okay, so I've been working on this. I had. Uh, decided after thinking about that 2x6 that I had used there I decided you know I should use something stronger and so I uh, I didn't want to undo the cables and all to put this bolt through both of them like I really should have done in the first place but I put this other one on there and I screwed them together and I put this plate on the top I think that's going to be plenty, plenty strong. I don't think this bolt will pull through right here. I was really afraid that this board would snap off eventually. So this should reinforce this board from snapping off. It's screwed together with three and a half inch screws. Uh, I think that'll be fine. Uh, I went ahead and I cut these. Uh, these boards, I got, there's 18, remember there's 18 inches between these cables. And uh, I decided to make these boards here 25 inches. And uh, the part about on the bottom here, so you need something that, to keep these cables from going off the end. And at first I tried to put in some staples but man, that was really hard to pound in staples from the bottom. So uh, I just took my uh, impact wrench and uh, put in these two inch screws at an angle. Of course, when I put the, uh, the, the, the boards, the running boards on here, that'll uh, stabilize quite a bit. Um, I've got uh, 16 foot one inch boards just like these are one inch boards here true one inch boards um, that are going to be the runners along there so I've made a lot of progress in fact I have the uh, I'm going to slide those down I'm putting them exactly three feet apart I'll slide those on down right now I'm going to put a 16 foot board up there and uh, boy, it'll, it looks like it's coming along really fine. Okay, this is the uh, first time I've attempted to get on this. I need to uh, screw, screw, screw in the second board down there, the far side board. So, uh, there's nobody home for miles around. I'm not too sure I should get up here. 
until my wife gets home to teach the school. When I got the upper cables, it won't be so shaky. You Tell my wife comes home. At least she can call 911 for me. <laughs> okay, it's a little challenging how I'm going to get the next couple of boards on the walkway. Uh, you can see what I have to deal with here. Now those cross ties will slide fairly well. I took out a couple of the screws underneath that were kind of tight uh, that were holding them onto the cables. But I still have, you know, screws to guide them. Um, what I plan to do is put the other board on top of the board that's already there and then screw it to the second tie from the right and then see if I can keep sliding it down and then tie screw it to every other cross tie every three feet. Uh, I haven't actually been up on this bridge yet. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be like. I'm, I'm still trying to work from the ladder there. I guess I'm a chicken. What can I say? Well, I love it when a plan comes together. I uh, screwed the board to that second cross tie there after I figured out everything and I uh, was able to slide it down and now that's just in the right place to screw it to the next cross tie where they're all together there. See how it goes. Looking good. All right, so far so good. I was able to get that board on and uh, we're almost to the end here. I can slide up that one cross beam right in the middle or at the end. And we should be good. Just gotta put that other. I only put one screw in the cross ties because I wanted to get them square. I get that other board up there. All right. <laughs> Good luck to me. I um, ordered my cable from Zipline Top Stop. It was $156. It was 5 sixteenths cable, 200 feet is what I ordered. Now, when, when I bought the turnbuckles from them, they sent these uh, turnbuckle safety cables, which you're supposed to uh, run and clamp together just in case this turnbuckle unscrews. Uh, I'm going to clamp it together and I'll show you uh, how it works. So that's how you do it. You run this safety cable through the main load cable there and back through the end of the turnbuckle and uh, you join it together. You're supposed to have three clamps. I went ahead oh, and put the third clamp on this uh, main cable here. And uh, when I get 
when I get done uh, putting the upper cable on and I got some extra cable left, I'm going to put a safety cable that goes around the tree. Okay, so I am out in the middle of the bridge, screwing the boards on to the cross ties. I worked up my courage this morning. I decided to put uh, three screws in each one of these. I got uh, one and three quarter inch deck screws coated. The board up there on the left is not uh, screwed in yet. I need to screw that one in. All right, I'm so excited. Got all the boards on. This is the view from the tree deck. Remember, I'm gonna build another tree deck or a tree house on the shore on that tree over there. Off to the left, you can see the roller coaster and the roller slide to the left of it. And on that big tree, to the right, right in the center of the picture, that's where the zip line goes to. It starts off way up on the Indian Mound up there. So I've put the uh, upper beams on and I've stretched one of the cables across. And uh, you can see that that cable is a little bit tighter than the bottom ones. But the bottom ones have a load on them, so I'm going to compensate for that and have it a little not as dipped right now. But when the load's on it, it'll be more dipped. So I'm just kind of estimating that's how I have to do it. Now I've actually made the upper beams um, 33 inches long. I put uh, 30 inches between the two cables. I wanted the top cables to be a little wider in the bottom cables to kind of stabilize everything uh, from swinging side to side as much. Um, also, I made the, uh, the beams correctly up there. I got two two by sixes screwed together and then I got uh, eight inch uh, lag bolts, uh, half inch lag bolts and uh, put them all the way through both the boards. So this, this beam was really made correctly. All right, Thomas and I are working on the, the bridge. I've devised a, uh, you know, to get the, to get tension on this top cable, I made a little block and tackle. See, there's a, a double pulley at the top, and a single pulley down there, and then I put a rope around the, the bridge and then I, I uh, pull it up real hard with this rope and tie it off. And then I, then I can put on uh, this side. And I moved it over to this cable when I did this side. I thought that was a pretty smart way to do it. Because you're supposed to start in the middle. But uh, it's hard to you know, get this thing all tensioned out properly. Okay, here's a video of the bridge with all the ropes the upper cable to the lower cable tied on all right the bridge is mostly done uh, it was pretty scary um, <laughs> I still have a few doubts about it uh, it could have been made much better uh, yeah, I've ended up putting a safety cable down here at the bottom. That's what really makes me feel better about it. See the cable that goes around this block here? It hooks onto the main cables, goes around, hooks onto the main cable over there, and then it's uh, clamped here. I'm gonna put, some, I'll be putting more clamps on all this stuff. Should have three minimum. Um, so, um, got all the uh, ropes on. It was amazing how the ropes uh, took a lot of the tension off of the bottom cables, just like a suspension bridge. I I'm fairly happy with the top beam. I made it correctly, 
probably could have used a 10 inch boards instead of six inch boards. Um, see how I offset these two big lag bolts here. And uh, there's these bolts, these, on this, this beam, this bolt goes all the way through both beams, which is what I should have done on the bottom, uh, but I didn't. Uh, so it, it's pretty nice to walk on. It swings quite a bit. It's going to be uh, exciting. Each one of these ropes, each one of these V's here is an independent rope. And uh, see how the hole is drilled in the board down there? Well, there, it goes around, it goes down around the cable and back up. That way, it'll hold the cable. The cable can't leave the board, you know, to, it can't, can't go outside of the board. The rope is holding the cable to the board. Now this little knot here, it has to be done before you put it through the boards. You just loop it through and then go down to the boards and uh, tie your knot. Now I think I showed you how I use the, the pulley system to pull the cables down so I could uh, get the ropes fairly tight. So I think that's about it for the swinging bridge. We got the entrance made over on the other side. And uh, I ran out of rope on the middle, uh, the middle uh, guide rope over there, but that's, I'll finish that later. But when the kids were swinging on it the other day, I noticed that that beam up there was swaying a little bit. I went up and tightened the bolts into the tree, and that seemed to fix it. But then I went ahead and put that other um, board on there, that little uh, seven inch board. It's a six inch board, but it's seven inches long, and I bolted it to the tree and then screwed it to the, to the other boards to keep it from wiggling. And everything's fine now. I like it a lot. The kids really liked it. It was scary for him, but that, that makes it fun. And uh, I started working on the uh, next tree deck. I'll tell you about that later. All right, this is the view of the tree deck and my swinging bridge from underneath. Hey, this is the this is the first uh, time Tristan's crossing the bridge. Come on, Tristan, go for it. You can do it. It'll surely it'll hold you. <laughs> Strange sounds. It's a bridge to nowhere. Now you got to go back. What do you think? You like it? Here comes Jacob. 